To crosstalk declining Russia-U.S. relations, I'm joined by my guest, Ray McGovern in Washington. He's a former CIA analyst and co-founder of Veterans Intelligence Professionals for Sanity. Uh, Ray, if I can go to you first, uh, uh, my question will be obvious, but maybe the answer won't be. Uh, we all know that there is a hail of tightened rhetoric coming out of Washington exclusively directed at Russia, primarily uh, dealing with Syria, but other issues, other lingering issues over the past two years. What does Washington want from Russia? W with this kind of undiplomatic rhetoric. Go ahead. Well, the elephant in the room uh, happens to be a country called Israel. A U.S. policy towards Syria cannot be explained without realizing that Syria poses no danger at all to the United States, but is perceived by Israel as posing a danger to Israel because through Syria comes the resupply for Hezbollah in southern Lebanon. And so the Israelis have made it abundantly clear that would like to cut off that supply chain. And what better way to do it than to create chaos in Syria? It's in their documents. It's in Hillary Clinton's documents. Now, this is not a leak. This is not a, 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 a hack. This is State Department released documents where Hillary Clinton said it will be a massive boon to Israeli security uh, if we can remove Bashar al-Assad. She said that in April 2012. This is the elephant in the room. As long as Obama and his policymakers favor the, the objectives and interests of Israel, there's no way out of this quagmire. Uh, Peter, you talked about uh, the policy such as it has been, U.S. policy toward that region as catastrophic. Well, it depends on your point of view. Okay. For Israel, it's just been hunky dory, yeah. you know. Yeah, sure. Uh, Syria is a shambles. Sure. And uh, so, you know, if we want to look at uh, U.S.-Russian policy, that's that's different. Uh, 